that survey or anything that I'm using, <coughs> right? C. Howard B. at shepherd.edu. I'm a sharer. If you're a taker, I'm a sharer, <laughs> right? We can exchange things or I can just give. So anytime I work on something, I don't even care how much time it took me to do it. I will email it to you. I'll give it to you. So you can do it too because that is what this is all about. It's all about you doing it again because if I see it somewhere else, then my passion means something. It's relevant, right? It's relevant because I can share with you. So if you want anything that I use, if you want a copy of my assessment mini grant that I wrote to get the money, if you want the survey, anything you want, you email me, and as soon as I get to a computer and I see that email, I get the computer right there, I'll be uploading everything for you, okay? So I want you to do this. I want you to do a red flag campaign on your campus. I want to show you how you get the flags. I want to show you how you do everything, and I want you to do it, and then all you have to do is send me a selfie with the flag. That's all I want. That's it. Or post it somewhere and make me find it. Then I can say, oh, look, it was real. The conference was real. I'm so excited. Okay. So, the kickoff lecture. I talked to you a little bit about the kickoff lecture because the kickoff lecture was very important. It was so important because the president and the vice presidents of athletics, of student affairs, all of these folks were here and I had to find the right language to use, the right words to use to get them to understand that they had dropped the ball. The ball was on the ground. They had dropped it. And I had to do it very kindly, subtly, and I did. Um, what I wanted was grassroots advocacy. So this is what is really important for an event like this, you know, where you start with your babies, you start with your students, you start with them, and then you take it to the next level. So we started off with the cheer, and I did learn the cheer. So it took time and effort, right? Sometimes as a faculty member, as a professor, you have to do things that you wouldn't ordinarily be doing. But I think I'm a cheerleader anyway. You know, <laughs> at heart, you know, I just say, yay, yeah, I'm always saying yay. So if you hear that anywhere during the presentation, I apologize in advance. Uh, my friend Rachel started it. She's a clap lapper. Have you ever heard of that? So we go, ah, <laughs> they do that, and then it's contagious, and then you find yourself clapping. But Rachel goes, yay, every time something happens, she says, yay. Like that. And then I think I did it a couple times and now it's official. <laughs> I'm a clap yayer clapper. Okay, so we needed that. Um, and we need to increase knowledge. So I had to teach them about Title IX policy. And what I did was I talked to them organically about the voice. So I had this lecture and I started off talking about the voice and the value of the voice. But I didn't do it by talking about your voice as an advocate, I did it by using music and talking about the instruments and tools that you need to strengthen your voice. And so I didn't even talk to them really about advocacy. I was smooth about it, right? And I talked to them about power, and I talked to them about strengthening your vocal cords.